All right, we are here at South Coast Orange County Cars and Coffee, and we brought out the first ever hardtop convertible Corvette. This is the 2020 Stingray behind me. And I feel like a celebrity driving in. There's paparazzi everywhere, crowds everywhere. They applauded when we drove up, so I'm having the time of my life. Um, I've owned two Corvettes, I've owned a C6 and a C7, and I have a C8 on order. I'm getting the ceramic matrix, but having the opportunity to actually drive this thing to an event like this before they're even out, memorable, I'll never forget it. So this is the hardtop convertible. The Corvette was always designed to be a convertible, and you can tell by when we did the C5, C6, and C7, there was a removable panel in the center, which means you have to design the car to behave like a convertible from the get-go. But this is an actual hardtop convertible. It's the first time we've ever done this for Corvette. So walk this way. One of the key differences is between this and the coupe are these nacelles on either side and then the window in between. So the window goes up and down, giving you uh, some wind noise protection, but also maintains uh, blind spots or gets rid of blind spots so you can see out the back. But unlike most convertibles, this one with the top up, it has just as good of a look, albeit a different look, than the coupe does. And that's the best part about this. We'll probably see an increase in take rate on convertibles because this just looks so good as a convertible compared to like previous soft top versions. The top is sitting up under here. The engine is also under there. There's a heat shield protecting the top above the engine. Uh, it's a 6.2 liter V8, 495 horsepower, 470 pound feet of torque. When the top is up on this, the aero, the drag is the exact same as the coupe. So there's no compromise in performance at all, which is pretty remarkable. Usually when you have a convertible version, a variant of a, a sports car like this, there's a little bit of give on performance, but not with this car. Also most notable, the trunk space back here has the same amount of trunk space as the coupe does. And that's, that's important. I mean, we want this to be a functional, practical car for folks. So this combined with the front end storage space, it maintains all, uh, all storage. And this is, of course is a Stingray. You see the Stingray moniker right there. So the coupe starts at $59,995 and the convertible variant is $7,500 more, so that's $67,450 for the convertible. We'll start building the coupe at the end of this year and hope to deliver the first convertibles end of first quarter of 2020.